this online meeting of uh, via Google Meet. Respected uh, Principal Bahana Kone, Dr. Shindi Saliha sir, our respected today's resource person, Mr. Angshuman Gushani, all other language academicians, research scholars, students across the country, and of course my project fellows, Malika and uh, Chakaria. Institutional Biotech Hub uh, at uh, Bahana College, it was established in the year 2013. And since then, we at Bahana College, we are organizing different programs, tension training programs, different sessions, online lectures, awareness programs, and so on. And uh, uh, it was uh, fully funded by the Department of Biotechnology. And uh, this online lecture series on entrepreneurship is also a part and parcel of uh, such uh, program, which are organized uh, by this Biotech Hub. This is a third lecture, uh, lecture on uh, entrepreneurship. And today we are lucky enough to have with us Mr. Shiman Vishyami. He will be sharing with us about innovative business models, uh, navigating disruption in the digital age. As we all know that entrepreneurship is the current need of this present age. And uh, uh, we are, uh, through this, uh, you know, lecture series, we are trying to motivate our students, resources, to learn about different paths, different avenues of entrepreneurship, and also about what are the different pros and cons while choosing a particular path as a career. So I believe uh, today's uh, online lecture series three on entrepreneurship, which will be delivered by Mr. Angshman Bishani. We will learn about uh, different techniques, different problems, and also solution, how to overcome all the problems. So with this, I welcome each one of you into this lecture series on entrepreneurship. And uh, I welcome and uh, I wish all of you a very happy new year ahead. Thank you so much. Over to Zakaria. Thank you so much, ma'am, for your welcome speech and inaugurating our uh, today's online lecture. And happy new year to also you, ma'am, to advance. Now, I like to introduce our resource person before everyone. Uh, Dr. Uh, Engineer uh, Angsuman Gussami, sir, uh, B in Mechanical Engineering, M Tech in Petroleum Technology, and he is also an author and co founder of Northeast Craft Enterprise, uh, and uh, he is the president of uh, Fly. Catchers NGO and he is now a project associate at CSR NIST Jurhat Assam. To uh, now, I like to request our resource person to start the lecture program. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. Uh, am I audible? Yes, sir. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, Jakaria. So. Um, yes, uh, good morning, everyone. Uh, Dr. Am I uh, able to present right now? No, sir. It's not presenting. Uh, just a second. I think it is. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah. It's visible, sir. Uh, so yeah. Can you visit? Uh, can you see the slide, right? Yes, sir. So, good morning everyone. My name is Anshuman Goswami. Uh, <clears throat> so, today's topic is innovative business model, uh, navigating disruption in digital age. Uh, so, first of all, I welcome you all and thank you uh, to Bahana College uh, for this <clears throat> opportunity. So, before starting, let me tell you uh, about some, uh, Jakari already told about my, you know, uh, what I did, uh, what are the companies I am involved in and how where I am working. So these are the two uh, companies right now I have. Uh, one is Empiregram, one is Anycrafters Enterprise LP. So in Empiregram, so we used to have students uh, and other professionals to make CVs and resume professional presentation, project and dissertation, content writing and graphics. So this is one of the company I have and other company is Anycrafters Enterprise LLP. So it is a very new company. So it, it is based on food products from Northeastern states, promotion and you know brand building of the indigenous food items we have. Sorry. 
uh, as well as I am a you know uh, author. Uh, I authored two books, uh, which has been you know available in Amazon in you know like uh, Amazon.com. Not in Amazon.in. It is available in Amazon.com. So today's topic, uh, if we go for the introduction part. So first of all, I need to tell you that the digital is is not just a new you know chapter. The whatever the digitalization we are having right now. So it is entirely different narrative. So it's a landscape where the rule book has been rewritten in real time, and those who adapt, innovate, and reinvent are the ones who will lead the way. Topic today we are dealing with, which is called digital disruption. Okay, so. So uh, look, the uh, the topic is not about innovative business model. I'm not going to teach you about tell you about innovative business models, which you are going to do, uh, because all the business models, you know, if you have a product and if you are going to uh, make a you know a, a kick off start of that product and going for a company, so that would be your your call, like how innovatively you are going to put that product to the customer, but. Uh, you know, uh, due to the digitalization, uh, you know, the, due to digitalization, there are lots of uh, kind of things happening uh, to most of the companies which are following the traditional ways of business. So we'll, you know, understand uh, this thing in later slides. So uh, first of all, let us understand what is digital disruption. Okay, so well, I think there, are not uh, you know, like uh, up to thousand. Yeah. Yeah. Am I audible? Sir, yes, sir. You're audible, but uh, only Google Meet screen is showing. Okay. okay. Uh, you are not able to see the presentation slide. No, sir. No, PPT is not visible. Okay, okay. I thought I thought the presentation is visible. Okay, just a second. So is it visible right now? So yes, sir. Yes, sir. It is visible. Yeah. So these are the two uh, companies I was talking about. One is Empiregram, one is Anycrofters. So I have one of the NGO as well, uh, which is called Flycatchers. This uh, works for the beneficial of the you know underprivileged uh, children. So these are these are the thing we used to do in Empiregram, and this is the Anycrofters. Uh, for food developed food product of northeastern states. So moving to this introduction, we have uh, covered. Now let us understand about digital disruption. So beginning with the digital disruption, what is digital disruption? Like from 2000, there are a huge change in businesses come up because of the digitalization of, you know, uh, because of the new technologies coming up. So it's not about technology; it's a seismic shift of how business operates like it is triggered by the you know technological advancement but it is the seismic business shift in how business operates if someone is uh, going to do a startup or if someone is going for business then i think some of the future slides will be very much beneficial for you so it would be much more helpful if you can note all those things so why I am saying the digital disruption? Because the consumers before digitalization were the basic consumers. So passive consumers, they are very, you know, like specific on things. They don't want to buy products easily. But recently, due to digitalization, you are going able to, uh, you know, buy things or order things from your home. The consumer become an active consumer. So previously we have the passive consumers. Right now we have active consumers. So this digitalization has, uh, you know, uh, uh, disrupted most of the industries. Like the, to you know, to truly grasp the impact, consider industries that have undergone significant disruptions, like retail. Right, with the rise of e-commerce platforms, there are lots of retail business which get disrupted. Their consumer, you know, if they are selling in uh, like uh, five thousand a month. Due to e-commerce, their uh, you know profit goes down. There is a disruption because they are not changing with their new technology. Transportation, you know, like Uber, uh, Rapido, they 
they used to overcome all those uh, traditional uh, you know transportation businesses again also we have finance where also digital disruption has a huge impact to reshape the business landscape so based on this impact you know there is a fundamental customer behavior due to this uh, you know uh, disruption because customer behavior has changed the customer has changed to active cons consumers from passive consumer the modern consumer is more informed more connected and more demanding than ever that is what the active consumer means so the digital age has empowered individuals turning them into active participants rather than passive passive uh, consumers so there are some of the case studies so whichever topic we are going to uh, cover uh, i will try to give some case studies because you know like case uh, case uh, studies and case examples were the best teachers you know if you if you uh, uh, see a case study then you can relate to what i am say, uh, saying and that's what makes you uh, you know understand the entire thing more efficiently so have you heard about blockbuster so let me tell you uh, blockbuster is something uh, who, who used to make some online uh, not online offline movies uh, you know kind of thing they they used to stock movies and you can just go to the store and pick a movie they rent it out just a traditional hum logo ka movies pehle tha ki hum log cd lane kahin pe gaye hum log 10 20 rupaye mein cd de diya hum log wo movie leke aa gaye so that was that was the blockbuster was doing similarly another company called netflix jo same kaam karte the blockbuster and netflix were the two companies jo bahut bade the they were like giants uh, jo rent karte the movies but why i am saying about this case study is due to the digitalization part the blockbuster which is you know uh, doing the same thing as the netflix is doing to unhone kya change nahi kiya apna ट्रेडिशनल you because of the reason that they left the opportunity of the digitalization but jiske karan digital disruption un logo ko duba diya so digital disruption already happened when the world's largest taxi company owns no taxi you know largest uh, accommodation provider jo the owns not a real estate kyunki jo airbnb hai unke paas real estate nahi hai again the most popular media owner that is facebook owns no content ye content dusre se lete hain baaki sab dusre ka hai but what they do is like they provide a platform and that makes the disruption in traditional businesses which are doing all those business based on you know their own ways taxi driver jo pehle the un log ka job isse chala gaya because uber came or ola came and they took over the entire business system उन लोग डिजिटलाइजेशन में नहीं बिलीव किए वो ट्रेडिशनल बिजनेस में रहा सो दे एबल टू शिफ्ट द यू नो न्यू एरा सो ड्यू टू दिस डिजिटल डिस्ट्रक्शन देयर इज अ चेंज इन द मार्केट डायनेमिक्स एज वेल तो ट्रेडिशनल मार्केट डायनेमिक्स नो लॉन्गर होल्ड ट्रू सेंस ठीक है वो एस्टेब्लिश नहीं कर पाते हैं बिकॉज़ ऑफ दिस यू नो ऑल दोस स्टार्टअप्स व्हिच आर बिकमिंग देयर कंपटिटर इन दिस डिजिटलाइजेशन प्रोसेस so moving to next is the need for adaptability so this is very important adaptability adaptability is the key if someone is having a traditional business so uh, that business need to have an adaptability to sustain in this market or to in this era uh, uh, for example uh, i don't know you have heard about it or not uh, there is a company called kodak bahut logo ko pata hai and if uh, you are born after 2000 then barely i think you know about kodak because ye company uh pure india pure world mein they used to make this name this negative reel film okay so this company was booming so it is a brand everyone you know take kodak reel to take pictures uh, uh, to click pictures to ye negative reel mein kya hota hai 
पिक्चर आ जाता है देन वी यूज टू टेक ऑल दोस पिक्चर्स आउट फ्रॉम इट उसको वो करके साफ करके नाउ द थिंग इज कोडेक अ इंजीनियर फ्रॉम कोडेक रिसर्च एंड डेवलपमेंट टीम मेक अ डिजिटल कैमरा इट इज फर्स्ट डिजिटल कैमरा दे दे मेड ओके व्हिच इज यूज्ड फॉर स्टिल फोटोग्राफी एज वेल एज वीडियो लेकिन कोडेक को लगा दिस इज अ वेरी बैड आईडिया टू लॉन्च अ डिजिटल कैमरा बिकॉज़ उनका जो प्रोडक्ट कोडेक का जो रील था उसका क्या है सेल क्या कल घट जाएगा उनका सेल बढ़ नहीं सकता है तब राइट बिकॉज़ उनका जो माइंडसेट था वो ट्रेडिशनल माइंडसेट था दे वर थिंकिंग ट्रेडिशनली दैट इसको ही हम लोग आगे बढ़ाते रहेंगे एंड दे डिडंट यूज टू यू नो ट्रांसफॉर्म टू द डिजिटल कैमरा दो इट हैज बीन मेड इन developed in their r&d facility uh, what happen uh, when there is a patent you know all the companies jo uh, unke patent office hai wo dekhte hain kya what kind of patent is going on so sony ko pata pad gaya ki there is a patent where kodak is making a digital camera but kodak ne to usko launch nahi kiya thinking it that ye uh, kaam karega lekin hum log ka jo traditional business hai wo kya hai ghat jayega because kodak hum log agar digital camera launch kar denge there is no use of that negative reel and uh, that would make their company you know go down uh, so sorry i have some you know there are some airplanes were going on i, I think it, it would uh, disturb your you know uh, uh, thing uh, so again back to this uh, presentation so sony uh, kya kiya sony ne apna r&d facility mein un logon ne khud ek digital camera uh, develop kiya and now the thing is that in this era of digitalization sony is a sustainable business with a huge you know impact of this digital camera in the entire world and the kodak the company which developed the digital camera prior to sony abhi uska naam hi nahi hai because they didn't adapt wo adapt nahi kar paya and there is a rapid change in you know customer behavior so that is why ek bar niche aayega ek bar upar chala jayega फिजन नीचे कर देगा तो दैट इज वाई एडेप्टेबिलिटी इज वेरी मच इम्पोर्टेंट आप अगर ये सोच के बैठ जाओगे कि मेरा ट्रेडिशनल बिजनेस है मैं इसी को ऐसे ही चलाऊंगा दैट्स फॉर एग्जांपल इफ ए ग्रोसरी शॉप इज रनिंग देयर बिजनेस इन अ ट्रेडिशनल वे सो इफ आई आस्क देम इफ डू यू हैव ऑनलाइन पेमेंट ऑप्शन दे वुड से नो बिकॉज़ वी आर यू नो यूजिंग दिस ट्रेडिशनल सिस्टम वी डोंट गिव दिस ऑनलाइन सिस्टम ये नया चीज है हम लोगों को नहीं पता है they didn't adapt so mai kya karunga next do bar jab mujhe kuch saman khareedna hoga i won't go to the shop kyunki un pe phone pe ya google pay hai nahi i'll be rather choose some of the shop jiske paas google pay ya phone pay hoga so that is the reason wo shop ka to demand khatam ho gaya if i am not going i will also uh, you know uh, trigger some of the people to not uh, take some of the you know buy some of the product from them jaan bujh ke main nahi bolunga mai bolunga ki unke paas google pay ya phone pay online options hai nahi we should shift to this kind of shop this ke pass hai so due to this you know um, not traditional mindset or not having this adaptability so digital disruption cause in the company so if you are going to launch a company if you are going for a business there are some of the factors you need to consider which we'll you know talk in next slides so the key elements of innovative business model <clears throat> what are the key elements of innovative business model you know uh, this uh, adaptability i am talking about and i'll waiting so first of all uh, three points three key elements so one is agility so scalability and customer centricity so these are the three things you need to uh, keep in mind uh, while you are going for a innovative business model innovative business model is such such a thing that you are making a model out of it you know you are making a process Uh, you have a mindset you have a vision you have a mission okay to uh, uh, take your company to certain heights um, you know for betterment of the society or for your own so uh, moving to this agility it is a backbone of innovative business model so it involves the ability to swiftly respond to changing market conditions customer preferences and emerging trends so uh, what it mean is that if i am a grocery shop owner if i found that there is a online payment option is coming to the market then i should i should have the ability i should have that mindset to 
swiftly, you know, shift to that uh, changing market so that I could get much more profit, I could get much more traction, I could get much more customers uh, to my shop. Okay, so that is what the agility means and you should have a mindset of that if you are going to start a business. So, uh, for example, as I said, I'm, I, I, I'm go to, going to give lots of case examples uh, to make you better understand. So, this case example is Amazon C Pollution. So, when Amazon started, it was an online bookstore. Okay, they are not so selling all those uh, things which are available right now. So, it was just a simple online bookstore. And it has transformed into global e-commerce and, you know, giant. Right now, we have two, we have three uh, e-commerce sites, which are like Flipkart, Amazon. Flipkart is from India. And if we go for, you know, worldwide uh, uh, e-commerce platform, only Amazon is uh, ruling the entire world. But before that, it was only just an online bookstore. So how could it, uh, you know, uh, became such a huge giant? So we'll have a case study on Amazon separately. In the later slides, I'll explain that thing uh, later on. So, what is the result of you know agility to the Amazon? What is the you know result for the Amazon's evolution? A company constantly adopting new opportunities and challenges. Okay, so for scalability, as you all know, what is scalability is scalability is all about you know building business models that can simply expand and contract based on demand. So, uh, if you have you know like ten bottles of uh, let's say spices. You have 10 bottles of spices and your demand increases. So you'll, of course, make, you know, scale your uh, business to that demanding market. Okay. Uh, if you think that uh, I have no machineries, I don't, uh, you know, uh, I don't have manpower, then you need to think uh, in a broader way. You need to manage those machineries. You need to manage those, uh, you know, man, uh, human resources uh, so that you can scalable your, uh, you know, product, your company. So best example is the Airbnb growth. So it is the platform for renting air mattresses. It was just a platform to rent air mattress. Now it is expanding into global accommodation marketplace. Places like in Jorhat, if you see in Assam, where I'm sitting, we have Airbnb. Okay, but this company's founder is sitting somewhere in California or America, right? So this accommodation you know, making uh, that sustainable business, that scalability of, you know, property to a global reach is uh, due to the mindset of uh, the, the founders to have a scalable thing, okay? And this rapid growth without owning a physical property, they're having a, you know, skyrocket growth, but they don't have any physical properties. This shows the power of scalability in the digital age. Without having a property, they're you know, just making a platform where they could rent a property of someone's, okay, and they are just taking a charge out of it and making their business out of it. So this is the power of scalability. Next is the customer centricity. This is very common thing. You, everyone knows that uh, customer centricity is very much important in a business. So at every core successful business model, there is deep understanding of customer needs and preferences. So customer centricity ka ye bhi matlab nahi hai ki aap just customer ke according cheez bana rahe ho. Right. Customer approach bhoat jaruri hai. What are the feedbacks you are taking on? Okay. So I have, this is very important. Okay. In business, customer centricity is very important. So we have another slide. I will make you aware of this in the just step. But let's see an example. For Apple's ecosystem. Okay. Consider Apple's ecosystem where products seem seamlessly intricate and user experience is prioritized. Okay, they used to take feedbacks, they make such a product that you will be, you know, experiencing and keep customer, they keep the customer loyal to it and engage across multiple devices and services. If I am having a watch of Apple, if I am having a phone of Apple, I can, you know, make this, uh, engage all those things in a, uh, uh, connect everything in a, easier way such that if I have you know my watch get uh, worn out my watch get defected watch to watch I'll buy Apple watch again give some integrated there is a you know ecosystem I have developed by buying all those products 
So customer centricity is very much important. And all these things happen due to the integration of emerging technologies. Jitna bhi maine bola, ye sab possible due to the integration of emerging technologies. If you are going to do a business, and if we are using, you know, present technology, present technology doesn't mean only AI and computer science or something like that. Present technologies may kuch bhi ho sakta hai. Okay, in, uh, you know, uh, like, kuch naya machines aya hai, if you are doing all those things in those machines, then you have production capacity, you have production capacity. So, integration of emerging technologies is much more important to make a company to go, you know, beyond your imagination. Because if you sit here and think that I have a new technology, I don't use it, I don't use it, I don't use traditional technologies, you need to move uh, above. For example, uh, as for example, ex uh, Amazon, I am giving those examples of uh, companies, because you are familiar with those companies, you have that user experience. Aprobness, sab logo ne Amazon chalaya hai. So, Amazon ka kya hai? Agar un logo ne emerging technologies se uh, integrate nahi karte apne uh, website ko, then there would be lots of people who will be handling all the products. Because Amazon mein bahut product hai. There are lots of users. So, ab jab order place kar rahe ho, so there would Someone be in the back end, who will process your order, ko process karega, right? So, there are a lot of people who will And with that, Amazon would not be in that position which is working here. That is the reason integration of emerging technologies is very important. So, they are using AI. They have AI, artificial intelligence. So, the rest of the work is done with आपका प्रोसेस है उसको कंप्लीट कर देगा जिसके कारण वो पूरा ग्लोबल मार्केट को यू नो कैप्चर करने में उनको आसान हो गया और लोगों का जरूरत ही नहीं है तब तो इंट्रीगेशन ऑफ इमर्जिंग टेक्नोलॉजीज इज वेरी मच इंपॉर्टेंट ऐसा नहीं है कि एआई यूज करके उनके पास मैन पावर नहीं दे हैव ऑल ऑफ द मैन पावर्स बट सम ऑफ द यू नो वर्क कैन बी मिनिमाइज्ड ओके उसके लिए मैन ह्यूमन रिसोर्स का जरूरत नहीं होता सो केस स्टडी 1 Moving to the case study, there is a case study one. So, have you seen this um, uh, logo? I, 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 I bet maybe you don't know this logo. You have written it in Apple Computers uh, Co. But this company is the Apple we know right now. So, this is the evolution. Their logo was starting in the They have changed to this. Why I'm choosing Apple? Because they have adapted. Look, if a company जो सैन फ्रांसिस्को में है इफ इट इज कमिंग टू योर हैंड देन ऑफ कोर्स दोस कंपनीज वर डूइंग सच अ बिजनेस प्रोसेस उनका मॉडल ऐसा होगा इट विल इट शुड बी सच अ इनोवेटिव मॉडल कि वो आपको टारगेट कर पा रहा है नॉट बिकॉज़ दे हैव फंड्स बहुत कंपनी के पास बहुत पैसा होता है लेकिन दे वर नॉट एबल टू पेनिट्रेट द मार्केट लेकिन दिस कंपनीज जो हम लोग के हाथ में है अभी और उसका जो यू नो फाउंडर्स बैठे हुए हैं जो मैन्युफैक्चरर्स बैठे हुए हैं वो है सैन फ्रांसिस्को या कहीं बहुत दूर तो देयर मस्ट बी समथिंग देयर मस्ट बी अ प्रोसेस ओके सो दैट इज व्हाई आई एम यूजिंग ऑल दोस यू नो एग्जांपल्स व्हिच इज फैमिलियर टू एज वेल यू एज वेल सो बैकग्राउंड ऑफ द एप्पल इज एप्पल इनिशियली नोन फॉर इट्स मैकेंटॉच कंप्यूटर वेंट अ रिमार्केबल ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन अंडर द लीडरशिप ऑफ स्टीव जॉब्स वी ऑल नो स्टीव जॉब्स सो द कंप्यूटर इवॉल्व फ्रॉम अ कंप्यूटर मैन्युफैक्चरर कंप्यूटर मैन्युफैक्चरर्स से इन लोग इवॉल्व होके दे बिकम ए ट्रेल ब्लेजर इन द कंज्यूमर ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉनिक सॉफ्टवेयर एंड सर्विस दे इनिशियली मेड अ कंप्यूटर उससे अभी उनके पास सब है दे मेड अ इकोसिस्टम आउट ऑफ इट ओके ये कैसे हुआ द ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन इज आफ्टर द कंप्यूटर दे थिंक ऑफ आईपॉड इन 2001 दे इंट्रोड्यूस आईपॉड uh, I don't know you have uh, listened to Steve Jobs first uh, this one introduction to iPod uh, video or not it is available in uh, YouTube we can just check it out so उन्होंने बोला था कि I have a product मैं ऐसा एक product launch करने जा रहा हूँ जो जिसमें आप इतने हजार गाने आप fit कर सकते हो you can fit all those thousands of songs पहले क्या होता था कैसेट होते थे वॉकमैन होते थे कैसेट्स होते थे तो एक कैसेट में 10 15 गाना आता था एंड यू नीड टू चेंज दोस कैसेट्स सो ही सेड 
कि मैंने एक डिवाइस बनाया जो जिसमें आप थाउजेंड्स ऑफ सॉन्ग्स आप उसमें डाल सकते हो और सुन सकते हो जिसका साइज आपके पॉकेट में आ जाएगा इट वॉज ए रिवोल्यूशनरी प्रोडक्ट इसने उनको बहुत किक स्टार्ट दे दिया बिकॉज आप जस्ट इमेजिन कि यू हैव ए वर्कमैन यू हैव कैसेट्स एंड यू आर कैरिंग ओनली वन कैसेट विथ यू ओके सो यू आर लिसनिंग ओनली दोज टेन सॉन्ग्स रिपीटेडली इफ यू आर गोइंग लॉन्ग डिस्टेंस आई नीड टू कैरी ऑल दोज कैसेट्स इन योर बैग बट तुम इन्होंने क्या कर दिया कि पूरा थाउजेंड्स गाने को एक छोटा सा डिवाइस में डाल दिया जो पॉकेट में आ जाता है सो इट्स ए रिवोल्यूशनाइज प्रोडक्ट ओके सो आफ्टर डेथ इन टू थाउजेंड सेवन दे थिंक दैट द आईफोन कैन बी लॉन्च ओके द फोन मोबाइल फोन मार्केट द स्मार्टफोन माइक मार्केट वॉज फोमिंग सो दे हैव एन आइडिया कि टू थाउजेंड सेवन में हम लोग क्या करते हैं कि एक आईफोन लॉन्च करते थे सो जस्ट सी द माइंड सेट कि टू थाउजेंड वन द एरा ऑफ म्यूजिक उन्होंने आईफोन लॉन्च किया then the phone ka boom aaya market mein everyone was holding a phone on their hand so they launched the iphone if this stick to the you know a computer market to unka wo demand nahi hota apple jaise hum log jante hain waise nahi hote it would remain like a hp ya lenovo right to wo market unko kaise mila due to the continuous changes after that they found that apple store and apple services were much more important okay आईफोन हो गया फोन के पास फोन के एक ही साल बाद हम लोगों को लगा कि एप्पल स्टोर एंड सर्विस आर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट क्यों बिकॉज दिस प्लेटफॉर्म ट्रांसफॉर्म सम सॉफ्टवेयर इन हेल्प्स पीपल टू डिस्ट्रीब्यूट एंड मोनिटाइज मेरे पास एक सॉफ्टवेयर है आई एम गोइंग टू गिव इट इन द प्ले स्टोर एप्पल स्टोर सो दे विल चार्ज मी ओके एंड दैट यू नो यूजर आल्सो यूज दैट एप्लीकेशन दे चार्ज दैट यूजर एज ऑल सो बोथ साइड्स से विन विन सिचुएशन आ गया है तो so, उन्होंने सर्विसेज भी डाल दिया आई क्लाउड एप्पल टीवी यू नो एप्पल म्यूजिक तो दैट्स हाउ दे आर इवॉल्विंग एंड लेटर 2015 एरा में व्हेन देयर इज अ यू नो ह्यूज डिमांड ऑफ दिस स्मार्ट वॉच दे शिफ्टेड टू यू नो वेरिएबल्स दे फोकस ऑन वेरिएबल्स आफ्टर 2015 सो दे आर रैपिडली चेंजिंग दैट सो अनदर केस स्टडी आई एम गोइंग टू यू नो टेल यू इज ओके दिस लेट्स सी द आउटकम आउटकम इज द टैबलेट मार्केट कैन यू सी The tablet market, global tablet market share, इतना Apple के पास है, 34 percent. This is this is the you know power. आपने adapt किया, आपका different product, different लोगों के पास है, then there is a subconscious in the mind that subconsciously you are getting that thing as a branded thing. तो आपका कोई भी product आप launch करते हो तो demand उतना ही रहेगा जितना दूसरे product में रहेंगे. So we have the case study to is the Netflix. Oh sorry, Amazon. Uh, I'm so sorry. So, uh, can you see this website? This is the Amazon.com. ये सबसे पहले उन लोगों का वेबसाइट था Amazon.com. Welcome to Art's biggest bookstore, Amazon.com. So it began with the online bookstore in 1984 and quickly evolved into a global e-commerce giant. However, its success does not solely stem on selling books. Amazon has transformed its business model multiple times. and expanding into various industries transformation kaise kiya e-commerce dominance 1994 se 2000 first e-commerce mein un log dhyan diye then 2006 mein they launched AWS Amazon web service because of the you know um a requirement of the global market online digitalization they launched this AWS after that unko laga ki there is a huge demand in the entertainment industry kyu बिकॉज मोबाइल फोन स्मार्टफोन्स में हम लोग यूट्यूब में वीडियोज एसेस करने के लिए यू नो इट इज वेरी इजी ऑफ आर्स सो दे जस्ट मेक यू नो प्राइम मेंबरशिप एंड स्ट्रीमिंग ओरिजिनल कंटेंट्स सो द रीजन फॉर स्ट्रीमिंग ओरिजिनल कंटेंट इज दट ओरिजिनल कंटेंट से क्या होता है क्वालिटी प्रोडक्ट निकल के आता है दे हैव चेंज देयर यू नो माइंड सेट उन लोगों को लगा कि अगर हम लोग ओरिजिनल कंटेंट क्रिएट करते हैं देन वी कैन मेक इट यूज डिफरेंस सो दैट इज व्हाई दे आर ट्रांसफॉर्मिंग देमसेल्व्स सो फ्रॉम दिस वेबसाइट नाउ दे हैव ऑल दिस प्रोडक्ट्स अमेजन ड्राइव इंडेल अमेजन प्राइम यू नो एलेक्सा एवरीथिंग व्हाट इज आउटकम द आउटकम इज द यूएस रिटेल ई-कॉमर्स सेल्स इन 2022 39.5% होल्ड्स बाय अमेजन एंड 31% by top 14 retailers only top 14 retailers is holding 31% okay and 39% is 
you know holding by amazon so this is the power of you know transformation because you know they are adaptive they are adapting them adapting themselves so that is why it's written the business model they change in multiple times so as uh, moving to a you know biotechnological company um, uh, this biotechnological company also has some of the transformation so they started in 1980 uh, they just make some small molecules in you know they are working on uh, various dnas recombinant of dna technology now they are they, they were the leading you know uh, leaders in the world in biopharmaceuticals so these were some of the case studies which helps you know to understand the uh, power of adaptability you know uh, to sustain in a market uh, which is digitalized and get yourself you know uh, uh, just making your years of cornerstone in this digital disruption i'm not saying that in future uh, we are only our only concern is digitalization there should be another thing which may come in the market which may help you to gain momentum or it may disrupt your business so it is you who uh, need to understand that uh, uh, will it uh, you know will your business get disrupted or is it an opportunity for you to uh, go for a you know global market uh, you know uh, penetrating the global market so for this you need to have a entrepreneurial mindset it is very important to have a entrepreneurial mindset so transitioning to an innovative business model requires a shift in mindset so if you are thinking is good you have a vision you have a visionary person then it could help you you know to build your business in an effective way and an efficient way so uh, these are some of the uh, you know elements which is very much helpful for making uh, your mindset a uh, business oriented kind of thing so first is embracing challenge and uncertainty so some of this uh, point we need to uh, understand so this uh, drive the dynamic and remain you know instead of fearing changes they embrace it as a you know catalyst for growth okay next is learning from failure yeah you know resilience in the face of challenges so just as a kind of yeah building a sustaining business involves facing numerous challenges okay you need to face those challenges if you run away from the challenges then it won't help you to make a, you know a kind of poster your business to a new environment okay you need not to bounce back from you know setbacks you need to navigate through tough times you need to navigate yourself through the tough times and emerge to a stronger of on a stronger on the other side so that's what your entrepreneurial mindset is next is the continuous learning you need to learn continuously okay you need to have a adaptability as i am talking about adaptability and agility taking risk and innovation you need to have an innovation not in terms of in the technology you don't need to have a technological innovation but innovation in the business process how innovatively you are going to do okay uh, for example if you have seen the egg bahubali egg they just uh, selling eggs okay but they make some innovation they have uh, given some of the innovative innovative thing in their product they just make a seal they have some added some of the you know uh, quality based egg product uh, egg uh, from uh, their you know uh, setup so that's why they just boom in the market of some so that is the reason you need to have a you know innovation in your business process again next is the learning from failure which we all know about right? we need to learn from the failure whatever mistake we have done we should not repeat it again we need to make it a list we need to take care of it and after that we need to move and uh, move forward for a better version of you yourself so with this i have you know a case study of elon musk i think everyone knows this person elon musk why i am using this his name in this entrepreneurial mindset not because he is a very popular person not because he is a celebrity but uh, the reason is that uh, he uh, co-founded paypal so after uh, selling the paypal he had a huge amount of capital with him and he has the mindset that uh, i will make a rocket i i will make a rocket uh, so before uh, spacex all the rockets which nasa and every companies are making they are just you know lost in the space 
So it requires a huge amount of money to build a rocket, and it, if it get you know uh, destroyed in the space, there is no use. So he has a mindset that uh, okay, let's make a reusable rocket. So it will go up, it will deliver the payload in the space, and it will come back to the Earth for another you know mission. So for that, he used all the money he got from this PayPal. Uh, he uh, you know made the rocket. I think everyone knows this. He made the rocket two times, three times. It is a failure, and everyone told that uh, not to make uh, use that money for the fourth time to make a rocket. But due to this entrepreneurial mindset and continuous learning, you know, uh, he made the fourth rocket, and it was a great success. And rest we all know uh, that he got lots of order from NASA, and he could uh, you know make SpaceX uh, to another level. So that was the mindset of an entrepreneur. On the fourth time when he was making the rocket, he used to live in a rented house because he don't have money for that. So you need to have that, you know, entrepreneur is not about, uh, you know, uh, getting profit out of it, you're getting lots of money out of it. You need to give something to get all those things to give. Next is the customer-centric approach, which I was talking about then a few slides back. It is very important because customers are the lifeline of any business. If you look, uh, the customers, so all we are doing is for the customers, right? The business, everyone, the entrepreneur, the startups, everyone is doing for the customers. All this process we are making, all the innovation we are making, all those R&Ds we are having only because that we customer is created. So slick customer-centric approach is very much important. So customers are the lifeline of the business. A strategic approach that plays the customer to the core of every business, every business decision. In a dynamic landscape of digital age, understanding and responding to customer need is not just good practice, it's a fundamental element for sustainable success. So that is why customers are God. People used to say customers are God. Because jitne bhi hum log kaam karte, R and D's, technology, everything is for customers. So there are key elements. The key elements for you know customer centric approach, which every business need to follow, is that first one is personalization and customization. So in the digital age, customer seeks personalized experience, right? All everyone needs a personalized experience. Business that tailor their products or service to individual preference creates a deeper connection. If I am making a product and if I am writing the name on that of your name on that uh, whoever the customer is, then it would have a deeper connection, right? So personalized experience is much more important, and customizing that is much more important. This could range from personalized recommendation based on user behavior. For example, Netflix. If you are searching something, okay, you're searching some kind of movie. So, who can you have a recommendation versus some movies are there? Okay, so if you have movies up search career, the habit like if you if you like to watch watch action movie, up kya hai action movies dekh rahe ho, bar bar. So Netflix kya karega na personalized list bana dega ki you may like this kind of movies as well. So उनको उसको पता है Netflix को पता है कि आपका ये क्या है मतलब user experience क्या है आप किस चीज को पसंद करते हो If you are liking those kind of movies, वो क्या करेगा आपको recommend करेगा Same thing happens with Amazon as well. Next thing is the active listening and feedback. आपको सुनना पड़ेगा customer के बारे में सुनना पड़ेगा customer क्या कह what they they want they are willing to say. So customers and the business actively seeks feedback. So customers आप को feedback लेना ही पड़ेगा and you need to take in any ways whether to survey social media or other channels. They listen to customer opinions and use this information to refine their offerings. They say, up, um, you know, ऐसा नहीं है कि they will come to you and just they will let you know that मुझे ये चाहिए. I want this one. No. Listening to customer is If a customer, if the market is, uh, you know, uh, three years back, uh, five, sorry, ten years back, we have mobile phone with small, you know, screen. Today our screen is very big. Okay. So for that, you need to understand, like all those customer want, he, which is for us, can change. I want a big screen, right? 
So, companies who are making small screen phones with keypads, उनको ये पता पड़ गया कि कस्टमर क्या चाह रहा है They listen to the customer and they used to transform their small keypad phone to a big, you know, Android phone. Letting the customer need, uh, letting the customer know that we are listening to your feedback. Okay, that is why uh, active listening and feedback is very much important. No one is going to, uh, you know, to to your place and telling you that you need to change. You need to focus. You need to understand what the customer wants to say. User centric design. So this this is also very important. Design thinking that starts with the end user in the mind. If you are designing a product, if I am designing a product, I have a phone. If I am making the phone, I am making the phone in a circular way. If it is a circle, then it won't be fitting in your pockets, right? So they innovate a thing that, you know, the approach was that if I make this phone in a rectangular way, it could be easily fit in my pocket. So it will be much more helpful for the customers to use this design for you know for all time use. If it would be a much, you know, you can't keep a iPod or tablet in your, you know, pocket, because it was not meant for that. This phone is meant for, you know, for the pockets. So designs were made in such a way that it could be helped for, you know, end users, which are the customers, uh, for a better experience. <coughs> so next is the customer journey mapping. So understanding the customer journey mapping for awareness of post purchases is very crucial. You know, customer journey, what they are um, buying, how they are buying. Customer centric business map out every point, touch point. You know, customer centric approach. If we are working on this in your business, you need to touch all these key elements and to identify opportunities to enhance the overall experience of the customer. Okay, this includes you know pre-purchase marketing, purchase process, post-purchase support. Some of the company used to call you after you know buying a product. कि आपको पसंद आया कि नहीं आया. या पहले पूछेगा कि आपको ये लेना है या इसको मैं थोड़ा सा change कर दूँ. So उससे क्या होता है कि वो पता पड़ जाता है. That is there is called consumer's journey mapping. You are mapping the entire journey from that product, placing that order to you know post-purchase support. Next is the agile responsiveness. As I said, as agility is the you know the customers you know customers need can change rapidly. Customers what change होते रहते हैं उनका जो need है. So that that is why there is a huge competition in the market because of the you know consumers become a active consumer. There is a huge difference. There is a huge you know change in the market. What competition is there? Everyone is trying to please customers. So you need to make those things in a such a way. Your product should be such a way that it could, by you know, um, press it. It could have a responsive uh, change in the customer's mind. उनका जो need है, you need to fulfill that uh, you know process. Uh, sixth, very important, building emotional connections. You know, beyond transaction, customers and businesses. Aim to build electronic, you know, emotional connections. Brands like Nike, जो है Nike, if you have heard about Nike, Starbucks, वो है strong emotions. Starbucks क्या करते हैं? They take a cup. Let's for example, they take a cup. They would write a name on you. Okay, if I am Anshuman, if I am ordering a coffee, they would write Anshuman in the cup. So personalized हो गया पूरा. Then there is an emotional connection built हो गया Starbucks और मेरे बीच. Okay, I am the consumer. I have an emotional connection with the Starbucks because उन्होंने मेरे नाम उस कॉफी में लिखा लिख कर दे दिया कि it's for you, okay? So ये क्या करते हैं? ये value share करते हैं and we get the experience, okay? If you are going for a huge restaurant, big restaurant, a बहुत बड़ा restaurant है, आप जा रहे हो, आप किसले जा रहे हो? उनका जो payment है, आप चाउमिन एक ठेले पे खाओगे 20 रुपए लेगा, उनके वहाँ से खाओगे 200 रुपए लेंगे। Why I am paying for 200 rupees for the same chowmin I am getting in the street? Because I am getting an experience in the restaurant or cafe. That experience क्या करते हैं जो atmosphere है उसका जो जगह है how it is. So उससे क्या होता है कि I am paying for that assets. Okay. So experience is much more valuable in in point of customer centric approach. So an example is again Amazon the customer obsession. Amazon को बोलते हैं the customer obsession. वो बहुत obsessed अपने customers को लेकर 
So Amazon success lies in its relentlessness focus on the consumer. From past section of customized recommendation, up Amazon in Jaoge, up in a search kia muje mobile chaye. So aka her search may up jabbi kologa up the browsing history ko dek lega de just analyze your browsing history and give you recommendation of different products. If you are going to buy a dress for yourself and if you are searching on Amazon, they will give you a recommendation of the same dress. Uska alag alag version, ya us wesa hi kuch alag, you know, dress ka recommendation, which will make you, you know, get a uh, emotional connection within them. Okay. So Amazon constantly evolves to meet customers' expectations. So unka jo customer centric approach hai, wo bhot acha hai. Company ka culture jo hai, wo bhot zara acha hai and wo satisfy karta hai customers ko. They will make you get discount, right? आपने एक घड़ी लिया यू आर बाइंग ए वॉच जिसका दाम है थ्री थाउजेंड और उसमें लिखा रहेगा कि टेन थाउजेंड सो एज ए कस्टमर मुझे लगेगा दस हजार का घड़ी मुझे तीन हजार में मिल रहा है बट क्या पता उस घड़ी का वैल्यू थ्री थाउजेंड ही है ओके बट एज यू आर सींग दैट आई हैव गॉट ए डिस्काउंट फ्रॉम टेन थाउजेंड टू थ्री थाउजेंड यू आर बिल्डिंग एन इमोशनल कनेक्शन कि मुझे ये डिस्काउंट दे रहा है अमेजोन आर गेटिंग सो दैट कस्टमर सेंटिंग अप्रोच इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट आप कहीं सेल होता है सेल में क्या करेंगे कि दाम उतना ही रहेगा यू हैव एन एनालाइजिंग पावर यू कुछ सी दैट दाम सेम रहेगा लेकिन जो आपका अपर लिमिट है वो बढ़ जाता है जो उसको काट के वो क्या है कम कम करके देते हैं बट समवेयर द कंपनी यूज्ड टू गिव सम डिस्काउंट सो कभी-कभी वो कम हो जाता है और मोस्ट ऑफ द प्रोडक्ट्स यू विल बी सेइंग दैट जितना भी आपका डिस्काउंटेड रेट होता है वो ओरिजिनल प्राइस की ओर से सो That's why uh, you know Amazon is called the customer obsession uh, you know company because they are very uh, you know kind of focused on the consumer centric uh, customer centric approaches. <coughs> so बहुत हम लोग ये कर रहे हैं तो एक कोट बीच में हम लोग पढ़ लेते हैं the best way to predict the future is to create it. जैसे मैंने बोला कि digital market पहले digitalization if I am starting a business right now I need not to think that digitalization disruption ही होगा बाद में राइट एप्पल कंप्यूटर लॉन्च किया था उन्होंने पूरा होम एफोर्डेबल कंज्यूमर एफोर्डेबल कंप्यूटर पहले जो कंप्यूटर थे वो दैट इज फॉर कंपनीज ओके पब्लिक वो उन्होंने पर्सनलाइज्ड कंप्यूटर लॉन्च करना स्टार्ट कर दिया सो दे आर क्रिएटिंग अ समथिंग दे आर मेकिंग अ फ्यूचर आउट ऑफ इट ओके सो नाउ इज द स्ट्रेटजिक पार्टनरशिप एंड कोलैबोरेशन इट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट स्ट्रेटजिक पार्टनरशिप एंड कोलैबोरेशन सो नो बिजनेस इज एन आइलैंड आइलैंड मतलब आइलैंड मीन्स जो पानी के बीच में अकेला रहता है उसको आइलैंड बोलते हैं तो नो बिजनेस इज एन आइलैंड कोई भी बिजनेस अकेला नहीं है अकेले नहीं सस्टेन कर सकता है जैसे आइलैंड सस्टेन कर सकता है बिजनेस सस्टेन नहीं कर सकते हैं यू नीड टू हैव ए पार्टनरशिप यू नीड टू हैव ए कोलाबोरेशन सो फॉर एग्जाम्पल बेस्ट एग्जाम्पल ऑफ स्ट्रेटेजिक पार्टनरशिप एंड कोलाबोरेशन इज गूगल एंड एप्पल वाई Example is the Isle de Now because uh, you could uh, have a connection with this examples, you could relate nicely. So Google and Apple have a powerful ecosystem. Unka jo ecosystem hai na, that is very powerful. So Google and Apple are prime examples of companies that have created expensive ecosystem for strategic partnership. Apple ne expensive ecosystem banana hai. Kaise banana hai? Google's Android, the Android we are using in the phone. So, ये इकोसिस्टम है दे आर मेकिंग एन इको सिस्टम इन्वॉल्व कोलाबोरेशन विद एप डेवलपर्स डिवाइस मैनुफेक्चर इफ आई एम यूजिंग ए फोन ऑफ नोकिया ओप्पो वीवो रेडमी उसमें जितना भी एंड्रॉइड है जो एंड्रॉइड गूगल का एंड्रॉइड वर्जन लगा हुआ है सॉफ्टवेयर में वो गूगल प्रोवाइड कर रहा है दे आर नॉट मेकिंग गूगल इज नॉट मेकिंग ए फोन दे आर मेकिंग ए फोन दे हैव गूगल पिक्सल पिक्सल लेकिन उसका डिमांड है ही नहीं लोग इतना ज्यादा खरीदते नहीं गूगल पिक्सल इट इज वेरी कॉस्टली उससे बेटर वो क्या करेगा उसका अपना सॉफ्टवेयर वो दे देगा दूसरे को 
जो फोन बनाता है वो फोन क्या करेगा वो गूगल एंड्रॉइड वर्जन डालेगा एंड जब जब भी कस्टमर उसको देगा देन दे विल गेट द ऑल दो मनी फ्रॉम द फोन कंपनी ओके सो गूगल गूगल एंड्रॉइड सिस्टम इज फ्री एनी फोन कंपनी कैन यूज द एंड्रॉइड सिस्टम दैट इज फ्री लेकिन गूगल के एंड्रॉइड सिस्टम में उन्होंने जितना भी प्ले स्टोर का चीज है जितना सामान है सब डाल के रख दिया है वेन यू बाय ए फोन एंड्रॉइड फोन यू विल सी कि उसमें ऑलरेडी गूगल डॉट कॉम रहेगा ही पहले थे हम लोग का याहू रेडी सॉरी याहू था नाउ डे इज डक गो ओके दे आर ऑल सर्च इंजन वो सब क्यों खत्म हो गया दे डिस्ट्रॉप्टेड ओनली बिकॉज गूगल ने क्या किया एंड्रॉइड सिस्टम फोन को दे दिया फ्री में क्योंकि एवरी सब कस्टमर क्या करेंगे फोन यूज करेंगे एंड्रॉइड यूज करेंगे अगर एंड्रॉइड में ही याहू और डक डक नहीं रहेगा इफ दे हैव प्री इंस्टॉल गूगल डॉट कॉम एज ए सर्च इंजिन तो गूगल के ही लोग चलाएंगे याहू और डक डक को कोई नहीं खोलेगा राइट दे हैव ऑल्सो इंस्टॉल यूट्यूब लुक वेन यू आर यू बाइंग एंड्रॉइड फोन आपको दो तीन चीज ऐसे ही मिल जाते हैं गूगल का सर्च बोर्ड मिल जाता है जी मेल मिल जाते हैं तो जी आप यूज कर रहे हो तो रेडिट मेल याहू मेल आप यूज करोगे नहीं then you are using youtube youtube bhi google ka hi hai so you can search you can use those you know entertaining entire uh, entertaining industry in your phone for youtube to so youtube gmail gmail and google search se wo ek kar raha hai pura paisa to uske unhone kya kiya ek aisa mindset banaya aisa ek innovative idea lagaya ki main kya karunga android ko de dunga phone companies ko free mein and out of it i'll earn from all those services and products which will be available in the phone तो जितना भी कंपटीटर्स थे वो सब बाहर हो गए सो दे आर लिविंग यू नो इन ए जैन दे आर ह्यूज अमाउंट ऑफ यूजर्स दे आर एक्वायर्ड सो दिस इज अ स्ट्रेटजिक पार्टनरशिप नॉट पार्टनरशिप स्ट्रेटजिक यू नीड टू मेक अ स्ट्रेटजी आउट ऑफ इट एंड कोलैबोरेशन सो व्हाट आर द फ्यूचर ट्रेंड्स दिस टाइम आई वांट टू आई गेस एंड ओके so future trend if you are going to do a business all those thing i have told you need to keep in mind and there should be a future trend jo hoga aage kya hoga hum log we are we got in the port that we need to create the future okay so if someone is making a heavy heart about um, this one blockchain bitcoin so bitcoin kisne nikala wo end to end encrypted kar diya blockchain ke uh, इससे माध्यम से उन्होंने बना दिया सो इट इज गोइंग टू क्रिएट अनदर फ्यूचर राइट यू आर सेटिंग यू आर क्रिएटिंग अ फ्यूचर यू आर नॉट लॉन्चिंग अ प्रोडक्ट यू आर क्रिएटिंग अ फ्यूचर जो बाद में एक फ्यूचर में डिफरेंस क्रिएट करने जा रहा है सो फ्यूचर ट्रेंड्स आर सम ऑफ द इज द एआई इन रिलेशन इट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट ये बहुत सालों से हो ही रहा है सो फ्यूचर ट्रेंड में एआई इन रिलेशन इज वेरी मच इंपॉर्टेंट इवोल्विंग इवोल्विंग ई-कॉमर्स एंड ऑनलाइन मार्केट प्लेसेस ओके ट्रेडिशनल बिजनेस आपको के फायदा नहीं है यू नीड टू इवॉल्व फ्रॉम ट्रेडिशनल बिजनेस एंड गेट योर बिजनेस ऑनलाइन इफ यू आर सेलिंग समथिंग यू आर सेलिंग एनीथिंग यू नीड टू हैव अ ई-कॉमर्स प्लेटफॉर्म यू नीड टू बी सस्टेनेबिलिटी एंड सोशली रिस्पांसिबिलिटी ओके रिमोट वर्क एंड डिजिटल कोलैबोरेशन लुक आफ्टर कोविड बिफोर कोविड जितने भी कंपनीज थे उन लोग क्या करते थे सबको कंपनी में काम करवाते थे उनको वर्क फ्रॉम होम का कंसेप्ट देयर नहीं था उस उस टाइम आफ्टर कोविड ड्यूरिंग कोविड जैसे ही सब लोग घर आ गए देन एवरीवन वाज वर्किंग राइट वर्क फ्रॉम देयर डूइंग वर्क वर्क फ्रॉम होम सो तब कंपनीज को ये ख्याल आया कि अगर हम लोग वर्क फ्रॉम होम करते हैं तो क्या करेंगे हम लोगों का बहुत पैसा बच जाएगा वी डिड नॉट नीड एनी बिग स्पेस हम लोगों को ज्यादा बड़ा स्पेस का जरूरत नहीं है हम लोग का रेंट पे हम लोग यू नो पैसा बचा सकते हैं कॉस्ट कटिंग कर सकते हैं खाने में कॉस्ट कटिंग कर सकते हैं एकोमोडेशन में कॉस्ट कटिंग कर सकते हैं तो क्या कर दिया कि बहुत कंपनीज ने ये बोल दिया कि आपको परमानेंटली वर्क फ्रॉम होम करते थे जो सॉफ्टवेयर कंपनी है सो यू जस्ट नीड टू वर्क फ्रॉम योर होम और वी आर गोइंग टू पे यू तो उससे क्या हो रहा है हो रहा है कि दे आर एडप्टिंग तो कॉस्ट कटिंग हुआ तो प्रॉफिट बढ़ गया हम लोगों का रेवेन्यू अगर आप आपका रेवेन्यू बहुत ज्यादा है रेवेन्यू के बाद आप सबको सैलरी देके जो बचता है प्रॉफिट आप क्या है रेंट वगैरह आप लोग का घट गया आप रेंट नहीं दे रहे हो बड़ा स्पेस नहीं यूज कर रहे हो खाने में बचा रहे हो देन व्हाट रिमेन्स इज द प्रॉफिट ओके द प्रॉफिट विल इंक्रीज 
सो दिस एडेप्टिविटी इज वेरी मच इम्पोर्टेंट अगर कोई बोलता है कि नहीं हम लोग ऑफिस में ही बुलाएंगे सबको so reuse or uh, uh, ye karke uh, we are uh, making the economy in a certain way like if i if i am using plastic uska uh, jo making cost hai ya raw material ka cost hai usko agar hum log fir uh, se reuse karte hain but uh, possible recycle to kya hoga ki wo raw material ka cost hum log ka bach gaya then we are just making the thing in a process okay uska bas process processing mein hum log ka kharcha ho raha hai right okay so that is it So now, a single movement. Oh yeah! Can I get the oh yeah? Yeah. Next is the personalized health and wellness. So industry is increasing personalized, as I said. You need to personalize health care and wellness. Uh, cyber security and data privacy is a very important thing cyber security and data privacy and decentralized finance and blockchain okay <clears throat> so why cyber security and data privacy is important because uh aajkal without phone you are not having doing anything right all the things are done in the phone your stock market you are working on stock market you are having the entire thing in your bank all the bank the banking thing is in your phone so cyber security and data privacy is very important so aajkal data bhi bahut leak hote hain we heard about uh, heard in the news that data privacy is very important okay so you can work in this uh, sectors as well all these eight sectors can make you beneficial but you need to understand you need to make a innovative idea how to implement it so example tesla for future trend if i get an example best example is tesla why tesla focuses on electric vehicles okay and sustainable energy solution allowing the future trend of prioritizing the sustainability tesla nikalne se pehle there was sabko pata tha everyone knows that there is a electric vehicle right but tesla ne aisa ek hype create kar diya ki everyone is working on electric vehicles right now because unhone kya kiya battery mein chalne wala car ko itna fast move kar diya 300 km per hour itne speed mein pehle koi ja hi nahi pa rahe the दूसरे कंपनी को लगा कि ओके दिस इज पॉसिबल तो टाटा महिंद्रा एवरीवन इज मेकिंग अ कार लाइक इलेक्ट्रिक व्हीकल व्हिच कैन यू नो हैव अ सिमिलर फीचर्स लाइक अ फ्यूल बेस्ड इंजन सो एंटरप्रेन्योर्स इन वेरियस इंडस्ट्रीज कैन ड्रॉ इंस्पिरेशन फ्रॉम टेस्ला सक्सेस एंड इंटीग्रेट इको फ्रेंडली प्रैक्टिस इन द बिजनेस मॉडल सो दिस इज द फ्यूचर ट्रेंड दे आर क्रिएटिंग अ फ्यूचर ट्रेंड दे आर नॉट थिंकिंग व्हाट विल बी द फ्यूचर दे आर क्रिएटिंग अ फ्यूचर ट्रेंड राइट सो इनोवेटिव बिजनेस मॉडल the first thing what we are uh, yeah, you know uh, we see in the slide in the presentation is the innovative business model so innovative business model is no longer a choice but a necessity of the for the organization innovative business model jo hai wo choice nahi hai we are not giving a you know we are not getting a choice we should make a innovative business model it's a necessity for organization seeking sustained success ab सो देर सिक्स बिजनेस मॉडल्स सब्सक्रिप्शन इकोनॉमी as netflix and adobe creative clouds used to give so you need to subscribe to their uh, you know uh, product netflix adobe creative cloud again we have platform based economy like amazon i am giving this as example so that you could better understand what these were okay on netflix you are subs- you are subscribing to netflix and you are getting the content on amazon they are giving platform to the end user and the businesses okay they are not providing anything 
they don't have their you know product so they have some product but all the products are not from amazon alibaba airbnb these all you know companies they are just giving a platform ecosystem then premium model uh, if you use spotify they used to give premium model byju's is also work on a premium model so they used to give free products and they also have a premium model where you need to buy for you know more uh, thing the model offer a passive version of the product or service for free and users to upgrade to the premium version for additional features okay so these are the some of the companies which used to give premium product then again circular economy minimizing waste and maximizing the use of resource uh, as sustainability becomes a top priority right now sustainability top priority here. the circular economy model focus on minimizing waste and maximizing the use of resources so companies are rethinking traditional linear approaches to take make and uh, dispose this are the traditional approach ki main leta hu banata hu dispose karte hain instead of adopting strategies that promote recycling reusing of the product so this is this, this not only align with you know environmental goals but also opens up a new revenue stream for you know through innovative product life cycle management so usse kya economy badh jata hai next is the outcome based product so customers pay based on the results or value delivered so outcome based products were um, you know uh, departing from traditional uh, pricing models some business are adopting to outcome this outcome based uh, pricing models where customers pay based on the results or value that uh, you know they are getting so uh, some of the agencies used to do this by directly trying cost to outcomes this approach aligns the interest of business and its customers acha diya to mil gaya paisa nahi diya to nahi milega that's why क्या होता है कि आउटकम बेस्ड प्राइसिंग में कस्टमर्स विन विन सिचुएशन में रहता है सो दे यूज टू ऑप्ट फॉर दिस यू नो प्रोडक्ट देन डाटा मोनेटाइजेशन हेल्थ केयर फिनेंस एंड ई कॉमर्स डाटा मोनेटाइजेशन इज अज यू नो थिंग इन दिस एरा इन द एज ऑफ बिग डाटा कंपनीज आर फाइंडिंग न्यू वेज टू मोनिटाइज द इन्फॉर्मेशन दे कलेक्ट ओके दे एनालाइज एंड सेल वेल्यूएबल इन साइट्स business can create additional revenue stream like for example if uh, if you have a account in nokri.com and you are searching for job so whenever you registered your database has been you know database has been stored in the nokri.com so if some small company wants to give business uh, similar to nokri.com wants to do business and they need some Uh, you know context right unko to phone karne ke liye contact chahiye unko to pata nahi hai kaun student hai unko unko ye bhi nahi pata hai ki kaun kya kar sakta hai so they used to buy those data from nokri.com aur wo kya karega unko de dega aur uske bin uske bihar mein unko kuch paisa milne wala hai nokri.com ko so ye data monetization is also important part so in healthcare kya karte hain jitne bhi patients ka data hota hai they used to monetize those data they used to give those data to some of the companies jo pharmaceuticals mein kaam karte hain so that they could call them and ask ki aapko ye zarurat hai ki nahi aur are you interested in our product or not so uh, importance of this look desirable valuable this is the most valuable solution so for example of subscription business dollar safe club so it disrupt the razor industry by offering subscription based models for uh, Uh, razors challenging the traditional model of selling expensive razor handles jile jo razor aata hai wo kya karta hai bahut saste mein uska wo deta hai jo ki body hai and wo kya karta hai wo chhota sa jo blade hai wo kya karta hai subscription based kar dete hai subconsciously aap wo subscription hai aapne wo handle khareed liya and you need to take those blades okay usko replace karte rehte ho aap tab usko khareedte ho okay So this is called subscription based model. One of the uh, you know example is the data monetization is the Google. Google transformed its business model by monetizing user data for targeted advertisement. The search engine you know आप क्या करते हो कोई भी चीज Amazon या Flipkart में search करते हो तो आप जब भी आप Google के पेज में खोलोगे तो कोई भी website में आपको क्या है वो product दिखाई देगा. So उन लोग क्या करते हैं target करते हैं. Google ये देखता है कि आप what you want. Okay. so then after your based on your searches they used to uh, use all those data user data and uh, sell to those uh, used those data to uh, you know uh, those websites jahan wo ad lagate by this they used to monetize data 
Third is the customer engagement. So Nike introduced Nike ID. Nike, which is a shoe company, has introduced Nike ID. Ko introduce kiya. Allowing customers to customize their own shoe. So what can they do? They can customize their own shoes. Ko. So that makes customer engagement. Okay. As customer-centric approach we are talking about. So customer can engage. Kar sakte so engage karke hum log kya karte hain wo ek uh, value create ho jata hai okay then customer wants to buy from nike itself because unko customized shoe mil raha hai wo apne hisab se bana sakte hain so uh, that is all about uh, thank you so much for this presentation uh, you know uh, all those points which i have touched i think it would be helpful for everyone so thank you and if you want uh, you can you know get contact with me get connected with me these are the mail ids that's it uh, thank you so much thank you so much sir for your meaningful session and giving us your valuable time from your busy schedule now yeah. the session is open for query if anyone have any queries they can ask uh, their question or or they can write in the chat box. Durga Vanvi Aksai Zanmi, you have raised your hand. Did you have any queries? Yes. You are not audible. Can you use your mic? Akshay? Yes, you will get. Any questions? If you want, you can ask. So the thing is that most important is uh, if someone is willing to do business, if you want to start your company, that those things are very important. And uh, you know, mentorship is very important to start a business. So if you are going to start a, a company or you are going to start a business, you need to have a mentor. You need to find a mentor. Uh, you need to learn things. Okay, how to make a pitch deck? If you are going for investor, you can make a pitch deck. It's a very important thing to you know showcase to the investors all your things, SWOT analysis you need to do for your business, everything. So it is important uh, so that uh, you uh, make a process of your business a part so that you can understand your own business. You know, if you do all sort of things, you'll understand your own business. And if you understand your own business, then you, you know, no one can make you um, uh, kind of thing like, you don't know what to do, 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 you, it is very hard to take some decisions, so you, you'd be able to take those decisions as well. So those things are very important. Sir, I think there are no queries. Sure, yeah. so, okay. Now I request Miss Malika Borua, a lab assistant Biotech Hub Bahana College, to end the meeting with a formal vote of thanks to Miss Malika Borua. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. It was a nice presentation. Thank you. Thank you.